secret place. That's right. And repent. Establish a relationship with the Most High God. Instead of murdering your brothers. It ain't worth it. Nothing wrong with walking away. Nothing wrong with walking away. Nothing wrong with forgiving. See, the world expects you to take your old people out. They expect that from you. You don't have to feed into that. Satan expects that from us. They think, you know what, y'all? We are some of the most giving people, some of the most loving people, some of the most righteous people. And I understand what the world has done. The oppression, the adversity, the usury. We've all been impacted at some, some level or another. But this word was given to our people. There's a history behind this. There's knowledge behind this. There's spiritual power. Supernatural power. Unparalleled by anything in this world. And that's why I'm here tonight discussing this. Brothers, you are killing the great ones. Those who are out killing their own people. wicked and if you don't repent there's a judgment on you like Christ said no man know the hour day at a time Christ come back like a thief in the night and he meant it and I believe it because I'm seeing it every day you know there is what you call a decree that goes out from the heavens. When the Most High makes a decree to snatch a soul out of this earth because, he, because he's had it. He's given multiple opportunities, multiple chances, times for that individual to come back, to stop persisting in their sin, their wickedness, their murder. That's in the Bible too. Let me continue. Matthew chapter 26, 52 through 54. Okay. Matthew chapter 26, 52 through 54. Okay. And it states, Then Yeshua, Christ Jesus said unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Now that's Christ once again. If you live by the sword, you'll die by the sword. That's Christ right there. Our Lord and Savior. Our King who walked this earth in the physical flesh. This is his word. This is the gospel. This is the testament. This is the truth. Repent. Murderers. Whomever you are. Those that would seek to take innocent blood and murder their brother. Repent. Repent. Now I'm pointing this out to you. And you have to also understand, this is the words of Christ. And I'm telling you right now, those of you who are out there taking your own brothers, murdering children, murdering women, shooting elderly, wicked.
Now, for those who, who may not know, once again, that's in the New Testament, and that's Christ. Bold red letters. Now, folks, once again, over the course of this, the, over the course of this discourse and this conversation, I will go into other records to prove the validity of Christ, the commandments, the statutes, the laws, being born again, prophecy, truth. This is what I do. I teach and I'm going to continue to teach. I've been commanded to do this because I love my people and I won't have no blood on my hand. I won't be like Jonah running for my calling. No, that's not going to happen. Let's go to Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Okay, bear with me, guys. Let's go. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Now, folks, I don't have too much long. I've been working all day, but I wanted to come on here once again to bring some, some knowledge and some truth, some edification, some understanding. In terms of what's going on with our people right now. In fact, let's change that up. Let's go to St. John. Uh, let's go to 1 first, first John. 1 first John chapter 5 verse 3, okay? And actually, we can go to 2 and 4. How about that? 1 John chapter 2 verse 4. Okay? Here we go. 1 John chapter 2 verse 4. It states... He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. So once again, brothers, if you murder your brother and you talk about, you know, God know my heart, I can't be judged. Well, it states right here in the book of John. He that saith, I know him. And keepeth not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. That also includes murder. First John chapter 5, verse 3. First John chapter 5, verse 3. Okay. It states here: For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. So brothers, the commandments state, they're not grievous. It's not hard to do. See, y'all have to understand, y'all been in the world. You've been socialized, indoctrinated. But let me tell you something. When you start to pick up your cross and follow the most high God through his son, whom he sent in this earth, Yeshua, Christ Jesus. He'll break you down. All the sin, all the murder, all the iniquities, it's going to come to you at that moment. And it's going to be an overwhelming effect on you. You ain't going to have a choice but to turn to the Most High for forgiveness. And the Most High, is, he's way more willing to give than we are to receive. In terms of that grace and mercy. That's why it's there. That's why Christ had to come back in this earth, y'all. For the forgiveness and remissions of sins. So why thou murder your brother? Now, folks, I got one more precept for you. And I'm going to take you to the book of Revelation. Now, this is going to be chapter 21 verse 8. Okay? Stick with me. We're almost done. And we're going to wrap this up. That's Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. And it states, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. 
Now, brothers, I'm not going to get too much into the prophecy and the breakdown of, of revelations and, and this. That's for another lesson. But I wanted to highlight murderers. Murderers are usually liars. Liars in the world, they murder. Those that say they know God, but yet don't keep the commandment, but yet you still murdering your brother. You still holding the offense. You don't believe in forgiveness. You believe in, in eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Wicked. And it states right here in the book of Revelation. No murderers will, it, will inherit the kingdom of heaven. They shall have their part in the lake of fire. I love y'all enough to tell y'all the truth. And once again, I had to come out with this message. I had no choice. This is how the Holy Spirit works. The Holy Spirit moves. Folks, I couldn't even sleep. For the past two, two and a half months, I've been battling with this thing. And there's more I want to bring. But this is what the Most High told me to address. First and foremost. So I'm dealing with that. Now, YouTube... I appreciate the opportunity. I love y'all. And I pray that this message resonates. May the Most High God, Ahaya, Asho, Ahaya, Bashim Yashaya, Wawawa Kadesh, bless y'all. I love y'all family. Shalom. Have a good night.